Welcome to the Vuzik podcast. This is our first podcast and we're going to make each video five minutes long and we're going to present you with Vuzik Station version 6 and also some tutorials on how to better use Vuzik Station, Vuzik Eve and any other tools we have. First here we're going to show the new features for Vuzik Station 6. If you're using Vuzik Station 5, you can notice those new areas here at the left and on the right, those arrow keys. If you click on the left arrow, you can see a preset chainer. These are, those are 16 multi-slots. Each slot can hold its own preset layer. So you have a totally new Vuzik Station instance for each of those slots and each things can load its own preset with its own wave sequencers, groove box, effects, everything you need. And if you right click it, you can select multi-save, so you save all these instances chained together into one file. I'm going to redo and start it over again. And you can also resize by using the small icon here at the bottom. Each that's you resize or you can hide by click on the row key again and at the right you have another arrow key for Vuzik Station version 6 which is the new tree view you can also resize by using the small icon at the bottom and the new tree view stays on the right as long as you hide it or show it and it has better f functions like it dragging folders and files around I can also drag a file or a folder on and the, the old internal file browser is still there you can still use it we haven't changed that we just added the new tree view browser you can also sh search for files here at the tree view with a better search engine so I'm going to search for some piano sounds and using an external drive and it's, it's actually much faster than the internal file browser for searching for files and it's easier to see because you can see the folder structure right inside the tree view so if I select the piano here And you can also, I'm going to go back to my Vuzik Station Presets folder. You can also browse your entire computer if you want. I have selected my s drive C here. You can also select other drives using the new location option. So I can go to my drive F into my program files, or I'm going to do all my drive G of my Vuzik Station data folder. This is my default dat data folder which is already here bookmark market so I can bookmark locations set one, one new location I have loaded as the default location can copy files delete files create new folders everything inside this one area so it's pretty much easier to use the new tree view because you can keep folders open you can also select larger sizes if I want can make a very large text for reading on bigger screens or very small text for reading on smaller screens. There are other options too, like show an extension of file, disable and drag and drop, and other options we're going to, to talk about more in the next video. Thank you. <laughs>